Danny Flexen here for seconds out. Delighted to be joined by Ryan the Piranha Garner. If you weren't sure, it's on his top as well. Although to me, that just looks like a scary fish. I don't know if I'd say it's necessarily a piranha, but how you doing, mate? Mate, I'm amazing. How are you doing? I'm very good, thanks. You must have been waiting for this moment for a long time. I know um, it's not a WBC or WBA world title, but it's an IBO world title. It's a massive step up. And it's Anthony Kakachi, someone who's been pretty dominant, certainly at domestic level for some time. Yeah, like you say, it's a massive, massive step up. I don't think the IBO is going to be on the line for me because I'm not, I'm not high enough ranked. But nevertheless, it's uh, still a massive, massive fight for me. If I win this, it's going to prepare my career right out of the rankings. So that's what I've had to take it. If you do win this fight, it kind of makes a mockery of those IBO rankings, doesn't it? That someone they didn't deem worthy of a ranking has won against their champion. Yeah, I guess you, you say it like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I believe I should. Uh, well, I believe that in my, even though I'm not high enough ranked, I believe in my ability that I am high enough ranked, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I've just got to take it with both hands, regardless if I can win the title. It's financially helping me out massively. And then if I win this, there's bigger, bigger, bigger and better fights on the horizon, do you know what I mean? So, just got to get through this. Did you expect to be in this position earlier than now? You obviously turned pro with great potential, hyped up, rightly so, with your talent. Did you think you'd be here earlier? Um, it's been a stop start career, isn't it, Jeremy? It's a bit bummy row. So, yeah, I should have been here earlier. But then again, with all the ups and downs, it's kind of come about quick. Do you know what I mean? I'm kind of skipping, even though I just won that my last title, the WC International. I'm kind of jumping up the levels again. Do you know what I mean? I'm going from here to here. So it's kind of... It's weird. I shouldn't be here now, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm jumping up to this level, but it's a big opportunity. Do you know what I mean? You can't let these, uh, these opportunities go amiss. So, yeah. We've seen Frank Warren work with those types of talents before, some that lose their way and come back, the likes of Kevin Mitchell, Mitchell Smith as well. And you're someone he's always brought up in interviews, even when you have been inactive for long periods. What's that relationship like, and, and what's he said to you about this opportunity? It's, mate, it's a massive, massive... It's feeling for me to have someone like Frank have the belief in me, do you know what I mean? To stick by me and that, like you say, he could have easily washed his hands with me years ago, but he stuck by me because he knows my potential and he knows what I can achieve. And he's backing me to win this fight. So that just goes to show what he thinks of me. And hopefully I can repay it by on the 8th of November getting a win and chucking myself higher up the rankings. What's he told you about what a win over Anthony Kakachi on the 18th? What could it lead to for you? He hasn't told me nothing like personally, do you know what I mean? But I know myself, if I win this, what's on the horizon, do you know what I mean? Like you don't go and beat the number seven uh, ranked fighter in the world and not, and not have big things on the horizon, do you know what I mean? Like this is going to be, the, what I'm getting for this fight is going to be a deposit on a mortgage for my house, do you know what I mean? So that's what I need for my family and to win this, it's only going to get me bigger and better money in the future. So this is going to be a big, big step for me and provider for my family. Now Kakachi, in your view, must have made a mistake in picking you. What is he missing about you perhaps? What are other people out there missing about you? I don't know if what we're missing, mate. Here I have to find out on the uh, fight night. Do you know what I mean? But I know on my day, when I'm on when I'm on form on my day, I can beat. I fancy myself with most people. Do you know what I mean? So, and I'm young at the moment. I'm only 25. I feel like I'm coming into my prime years. I've got the momentum now. I've just had two fights back to back. This is my third this year, so I've got momentum there. And I don't know. Obviously, he's getting old. He's 34. Do you know what I mean? He might be on a down, downwards spiral. So, fingers crossed, mate. That uh, if I turn up on the night on the 18th. Then I'll come away victorious. Describe his style for us in you in your view. You obviously watched a bit of him. What do you make of him? I, I haven't watched loads of him, mate. If I'm honest, like, I see obviously Damien, who he was in our gym for his last fight, he boxed him. Yeah. I know he oh, listen, he's taller than me, he's got long arms, do you know what I mean? So I know if I'm gonna win this, I've got to be on my A game and I've got to get on his chest and not let him breathe, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I expect fireworks in the fight night, do you know what I mean? It's gonna be a good fight. How important do you think, you mentioned that you know, you're only 25 still, how important do you think that youth will be against someone who has had a lot of hard fights, maybe a few more miles on the clock? Yeah, like, I'm, tw I'm, only, I'm only 25, even though I've been a pro like seven years, it's been a stop-start career, so I've not been through the trenches, I've not had them hard fights that have took a toll on the body yet, do you know what I mean? Whereas he's had tougher fights than that, so I'm still fresh, you know what I mean? I'm 25 years old, even though I've been a pro for seven years now, I'm still fresh, you know what I mean? I've not had no hard fights, nothing like that. So, who knows, it could be my, my time now. Just tell us a little bit about your life outside of the gym. Have you got a family of your own and, and you know, what does this mean to them? Yeah, uh, at the start of the year my daughter was born in January, so yeah, she'll be one in January, so I've got a missus, obviously I've got, got my daughter. Yeah, so everything's for them really, do you know what I mean? This fight is going to secure me like the, the financial backing now, like obviously I'm renting a house at the moment, it's just dead money, isn't it? 
so that from this fight I'll be able to put a nice uh, deposit on the house. So that's the main thing, mate. Providing for my family is the main thing. That's the reason I fight. And what do you make of being on such a huge card? Magnificent Seven, aptly named. They did the first one in 2010 with the likes of Enzo Macronelli, Nathan Cleverly. I think Mac was Macklin on there as well, I think. I know, I yeah, know you were very young <laughs> back then, but yeah, I was there, unfortunately, in that sense. But really, really good show. How do you feel about being on an event of this magnitude? Oh, massive, massive. Do you know what I mean? And it's a massive show. There's going to be a lot of eyes on it. Do you know what I mean? So if I win and look good on this fight, there's going to be a lot of eyes on me. Do you know what I mean? So it's only, it's only going to take my career from here to here. Do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, yeah, if I get a win, there's going to be so many eyes on it. Get, hopefully, build a lot more fan base, and then hopefully take some people down to St Mary's one day. Well, that's what I was going to say. What is the dream? Because we've seen, you know, Bournemouth under CBS and Boxer has become this hotbed now. And we think it might be true for Brighton. They're trying that with Harlem Eubank. Would you like to do the same for Southampton? Oh, 100%, mate. Uh, my fan base is only growing every fight. Do you know what I mean? I sold 300 tickets for last year's cool show. Tickets are flying out for this one. It's only been announced a couple of weeks. And I was on the pitch at St. Mary's last week, that half time. And then I'm getting a lot more on my social media, a lot of people backing me and a lot of people buying tickets. So if I keep winning and my family keeps growing, I'm sure we'll fill out St. Mary's one day, 110%. Brilliant. Now, just before I let you go, tell people out there they can find you on the different social media platforms so they can find out a bit more about you. Yeah, um, I think my Instagram is Piranagana98. I think it's the same on uh, Twitter. And I've got a Facebook page as well, right on the Piranagana. So, yeah. But tell us how you came up with Piranha as the nickname. You were telling me off camera, Lion didn't really cut it, even though your name's Ryan. So what, why Piranha? Mate, there, there was a few, like we was trying, when I first turned pro, I didn't have a nickname when I first turned pro. I think I had like one or two fights with no nickname. This thing for ages, there was like Iron Ryan, Ryan the Lion, loads of little cheesy ones, you know what I mean? It didn't really fit and, I don't know, I just come up with it one day, it just clicked and then... Are you fisherman or? Nah, it just, it just, everyone loves it, doesn't they? Ryan the Piranha Ghana, they're vicious, isn't they? I'm like a pack of piranhas all in one. Blood, yeah. yeah, 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 going for the kill, do you know what I mean? So, nah, it's mad how it come about, but it's really stuck. Great stuff, mate. Very best of luck on the 18th. I look forward to the fight. Cheers, mate. Appreciate Cheers, it. Mate. Thank that you. Was brilliant. Thank you.